It's coming to an end and today we are going to cover the HP Omen 15 Ryzen based version which I really wanted to like so much but spoiler alert I'm a little bit disappointed. Hey guys welcome back to Hardware SS channel my name is Ivan today we are going to cover the HP Omen 15. This is the Ryzen based machine with Ryzen 7 4800H 8 core 16 threads and we have 16 gigabytes of RAM on board, clocked at 3200 MHz, and we have the RTX 2060. This is the highest spec Ryzen-based Omen 15. Unfortunately, they are not offering anything above the RTX 2060. No 2070, no 2070 Super. All those SKUs were only reserved for Intel-based machines for some odd reason. I don't know why, but that's what the fact is. So again, Cyber Monday, Black Friday deals. I ordered one of those straight from HP, configured it, took about a month to arrive, finally came, and now is the time to review it. I know it's a bit late since now we are expecting a refresh. 5000 series Ryzen and obviously the new RTX 3060s, 3070s, and 3080s from Nvidia, but better late than never we're going to compare this one's performance with the performance of the gateway creators edition and the legion 5 by lenovo all three have different cpus but the exact same gpus are uh, they're exactly the same we're going to find out in a separate video which is coming right after this one where we're going to have each one of those laptops compared in games and we'll see which one is the best among them to get now before we move to our obligatory unboxing and look into internals and of course we're going to run some games standalone games with this video as well just a few words that i'm observing and what i'm thinking about now this is the highest price rtx 2060 in my possession this one costed 1300 from hp with all the discounts so quite expensive lenovo legion was only a thousand dollars which that's 300 dollars less and furthermore, the Gateway Creators Edition was another $350 cheaper at $650. So does it really make sense to pay double the price of the Gateway Creators Edition to get the HP Omen 15? We're about to find out. On to the unboxing of the HP Omen 15. Not much to look at the box because this is the CTO, which is, you know, consumer build spec version of the Omen. So there's not the retail package, comes in a plain black, super slim uh, box. So let's go ahead and open it right away, see what's inside. First thing you're gonna see, we have a couple of Omen product uh, advertisements right here on top. The laptop on the side as well. In that little compartment, it's probably the power supply. And let's look at that, normal power cable. And then we have the power supply, very similar to the one on the HP Pavilion that you guys saw recently, it's just bigger but exactly the same design. I like what they did with this design. It's very unique and different to anybody else's. This one is 200 watts. The one on the pavilion was only 150 watts because we didn't need to be too powerful. But now we have uh, RTX 2060, so obviously 200 watts is necessary. And of course we have the Ryzen 7 4800H, which is eight core, 16 threads. So packed in plastic, no recyclable fabric on this one. Now the first thing we're gonna look at the back side, you'll see very nice perforations all through the back side where the two vents are uh, for the fans, GPU and CPU, very clean design, nothing crazy. We have one big rubber leg on the front, one big on the back, screws all around. Of course, we're gonna open it and uh, do the obligatory installation, upgrade of memory, additional uh, storage we're gonna put, NVMe drive, this is all plastic. Right side of it, we have two USB 3 ports, vent. Next one, we have mini display port and USB-C. On the left side, barrel style charging port. We have RJ45 right here. We have another USB and then we have the HDMI port. And on the front, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and microphone combo right here and SD card slot. So very good selection of ports. Obviously, this is gonna be a big help for everybody that is going to be using this laptop for crea creativity in the back we don't have any ports it's just ventilation all the way through we have the stylish square omen logo in the back and just says omen 
nothing's lighting up plastic on the back but that's fine let's open it up real quick one of the things about the omen 15 is how unique the keyboard is most of these laptops you guys see on my channel so far have numeric keys on the side but the omen series opted out to just have regular keyboard separated arrow keys that are exactly the same size as the other ones so if you're not using the numeric keypad too much this is probably a better setup for you the top of it it's metal the bag and off of and two and speakers are on both sides of the laptop on the top we have some ventilation points to help with the heat dissipation branding bang and Olsen right here on the left on the right side the ryzen uh, 7 4000 series sticker and rtx sticker as well like the placement of, of these stickers they're not on this side so they're not going to rub against your palm and obviously you're going to be using mouse for playing so these are not going to be too much in contact a little branding here from omen 15 not too intrusive not too crazy so you definitely can use that laptop in your office work uh, and kind of low-key uh, gaming machine as well uh, omen branding right here and of course we have a camera right on top great to see that where it belongs on top of the lid this one is with the 144 hertz panel we'll see how fast this panel is obviously after uh, we upgrade some of the internals this is it for the unboxing we're gonna go ahead and open the back panel with the omen 15 what i'm planning to do is add another nvme drive and this is the crucial p2 again another 500 gigabytes plenty space for games and other installs really like these drives inexpensive fairly fast about 50 dollars for uh, 500 gigs and i'm planning to put this 32 gigabytes kit from mushkin 3200 megahertz Currently we have 16 inside, but I want to expand it to use more for productivity. So let's go ahead and open the back side. We have several screws on the front and the back. See how easy uh, that's going to be to remove compared to all the other laptops I had so far. We have a fairly easy process here. Four screws in the front, four screws in the back, nothing in the middle which makes a total of eight. Again, we need to start prying from the backside with our plastic tools. Uh, don't ever use anything metal, otherwise you're risking to break or scratch your brand new, quite expensive laptop. So just use your nails and an old credit card if you don't have plastic tools. Uh, be gentle and be patient. Go around all the corners and start prying. Once you start from a point it's fairly easy to go around and do the rest but again be very careful and very patient as uh, we don't want to damage anything once we remove you'll see how many perforations are actually here a lot of perforations all the way through a lot of thermal pads and points all around so we're going to take that to the side all right so what we have here is the two nvme uh, slots on both sides i'm gonna have to open and see which one is the populated one uh, we have the battery right in the middle two memory slots and we have our intel ax200 card one two three thick heat pipes that are going from the back side and on the one side as well here on the right uh, so first thing we're going to do the memory which is the easiest one sk hynix is what hp are giving us here we have two by eight but of course we want to upgrade to the 32 gigabyte kit from mushkin put them in place make sure they go fully into the slot before you press down here you hear the click and then the other one fully in the slot press down we're good to go which one of these nvme slots are actually populated and which one we're gonna populate with our new storage both have a very nice copper heat sinks and heat spreaders on top which is nice to see this one is the empty one and they conveniently have included a thermal pad on top of it All right after we put our nvme drive we can peel it and put it on top and that way it's going to have a better thermal conductivity and dissipation what we want to do is place it in the slot push it in and then remember to peel off the thermal pad over here place it on top just put the screw back in now we have nvme drives on both sides main one is right here and then we have the secondary one again 500 uh, gigabytes upgraded the memory with 32 gigabytes and then we're gonna go ahead and close it up
Alrighty, conclusion time. You guys saw everything that it needs to be seen about this specific Omen 15. We look at the internals, we look at the design, we looked at the upgrade abilities and of course the gaming performance. And you guys saw, unfortunately, we have some sad and bad results. Thermal performance on the CPU was not great at all. We moved over 100 degrees Celsius, which I really don't like to see. And this was the most disappointing part for me because I thought that this Ryzen will run cooler than the Intel processors and comparing it to the cheaper pavilion I have for $450, which has the Ryzen 5 4600H, which is six cores, 12 threads, which is running a lot cooler. I was expecting a similar performance from this one, but unfortunately the temperature is a lot higher. So at over hundred degrees playing games, I can only imagine what's going to be if you're running a processor intensive uh, workloads, video editing, anything like that, that processor will thermal throttle all the time. So uh, I'm sorry, uh, HP, I cannot keep this one. I think it's the most disappointing of all those laptops, not only price-wise, but performance-wise, it's even more disappointing. And you will see uh, when we do the comparison between all three of them in games, that specific laptop actually is at the last spot, trailing behind the $650 Gateway Creators Edition and trailing behind the $1,000 Lenovo Legion 5, which makes no sense. Why would you spend so much more money and get less performance, right? I mean, at least if it was very cool, so you can run workloads and, you know, stuff that you're normally needing more processor power uh, or more cores. Yeah, but with this kind of temperatures, I, I can't really recommend it or I can't really uh, keep it myself. You guys saw I wanted to make it my mobile or on the go. Uh, editing machine. I added 32 gigabytes of RAM. I expanded the storage, which by the way, you know, they give us only an option for NVMe drive. Uh, no two and a half inch drives are possible to be installed there. But anyway, you know, that's a minor problem. The major issue here for me is thermal performance, which is not great. And then gaming performance, which is okay, but not even as good as the gateway or the Lenovo Legion. So again, I've said that before in many videos, I'm gonna say it again, at $650, even at $800, the Gateway Creators Edition is the best deal for that past year. Uh, around all these laptops I reviewed, this is the best deal price performance. Obviously, the best budget deal is the HP Pavilion a gaming laptop for $450, but for $650, you're getting much better graphics card, much better screen, much better design, much better thermal performance, much more customizations, uh, undervolting, pl plethora of ports, uh, slim profile, I mean, you name it, RGB keyboard, everything. This is the perfect laptop for somebody that has already a desktop permanently to play you know triple a titles games uh, but this one is you know kind of on the go or let me go to the other room spend some time with my relatives and game at the same time you know if you guys doing this i don't right but anyway yeah a big disappointment from hp um you know overall great screen great build quality great keyboard great design overall i really like it great ports uh, although not in the back, but still. But that thermal performance, I cannot go along with. So this is going to go back to HP. And I'm definitely keeping my Lenovo Legion 5 and my Gateway Creators Edition. And obviously the $450, uh, throw it in the bag, travel gaming computer, the HP Pavilion gaming laptop. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Next video will be comparison between all three laptops with RTX 2060. You're going to see the gaming performance. We're going to rate them see who's number one but for now i'm going to tell you my favorite is and will be i believe the gateway creators edition especially for the price that's it for now hit the thumbs up if you like the video stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you're new and as always guys you have a wonderful day